What would you do with three extra weeks' worth of time each year? Good evening, everyone. I'm Jed van der Poel, and I have a vision uh, to put Ireland's capital in the world's top ten list of best quality of life cities. I am part of COSAN, a group that advocates for a transformative, integrated mobility system for Dublin. And I'm going to tell you how this can be done quickly, with minimal disruption, and without public subsidy. It's generally agreed that public transport should not be seen as a social service for the underprivileged and others who don't have their own transport, but rather as an economic stimulant, protective of the environment, and one of the necessities of civilised urban living. By mid-century, three billion people will be living in cities. A recent Intel-sponsored report shows that smart cities have the capacity to give back to each city dweller three working weeks' worth of time each year. Almost half of the time saved, not surprisingly, derives from improved mobility. Dublin is the ninth most congested city in the world. We need to join up our mobility infrastructure. In 1996, the mayor of Madrid promised his electorate that he would build 20 kilometres of metro in his four-year term. He built 60. He then promised that he would build another 60 and make Madrid wealthier than Barcelona. Uh, there's a lot of rivalry between these two, as uh, some of you may know. He built the extra 60, plus a further 60 kilometres of road tunnel as part of the M30 orbital route that runs under the city. And yes, Madrid is wealthier than Barcelona. Madrid is now ranked fourth in Europe, as opposed to only uh, 11th for Barcelona, according to the World Atlas. Uh, mobility is key to the success of a city and by extension, the well-being of its citizens. Metro Dublin aimed to build 94 kilometres of metro by 2025, 46 of which will be underground. We project that when completed, our network will deliver a quarter of a billion uh, passenger journeys per year. Now, that's not a mistake. Uh, I repeat, a quarter of a billion. Uh, Contrast that with the government's own Metrolink project, which aims to deliver just 33 million passenger journeys uh, per year by 2027. Well, anybody can make that, that sort of uh, claim, you know, a fantastical claim. Um, so what gives me the confidence to think that uh, I could deliver this? Well, about three weeks ago, uh, I drove the 21 kilometres, that's... 14 miles in old money, from my home in Hoth to the Westbury Hotel to meet with Professor Dr. Manuel Meles Maynard, uh, a man of unparalleled engineering expertise, a man whose uh, achievements the World Bank, not a, an organisation given over to, uh, to superlatives, described as superb and from which the whole world could learn. Um, we were to meet at 8.30 in the morning. I arrived at 9, having taken one and a half hours to make the journey. The following morning, I suggested that we meet at 9.30 uh, to allow the worst of Dublin's rush hour traffic to subside. Uh, I arrived on time, but once again, having taken one and a half hours to make the journey, but I digress. Professor Mellis was the executive president of Metro Madrid. It is he who built the massive construction projects promised by the mayor. Uh, it is he who can build Metro Tunnel at a tenth of the price that uh, any um, uh, than, uh, was paid by uh, London Underground when they built the Jubilee Line, and in a fraction of the time. The efficiency of any mass public transport system lies in geography, 
You have to feed the beast to be able to achieve the type of uh, passenger figures that we have projected. For example, in Madrid, uh, a single 40-kilometer orbital line called Metro Sur delivers 100 million passenger journeys per year. The secret of this is that it links five of Madrid's uh, suburban centres. Metro Dublin will do something similar. We will link uh, Ashbourne, Swords, Malahide, Rathfarnham, uh, Adamstown and Blanchardstown with the city centre. Six uh, radial lines will converge on a city centre loop under Dublin. The network uh, will uh, integrate 62 uh, station stops with um, Lewis, Dart, mainline rail and uh, bus routes via 19 major hubs. A, a journey from my home in Hoth to the Westbury Hotel should take, by, by public transport, should take no longer than 30 minutes at any time of the day or night. Hang on, by my calculation, I've just saved myself 12 working weeks in a year. OK, so that's a, a bit extreme, uh, but it goes a long way to validating uh, Intel's own figures and the subject of this talk. At 9 billion euros, Metro Dublin will cost less than a third of any similar um, system. Uh, due uh, mainly to Professor Mellis's, and I'll quote, uh, superb method of procurement and implementation. Because of this total cost figure, uh, the project will be self-financing and will not require any taxpayer euros uh, to build, nor uh, public subsidy once it is up and running. This will be unique anywhere in the world. The bulk of the money will come from the uh, European Investment Bank and from uh, uh, sovereign wealth funds. I have a vision to put Ireland's capital in the world's top 10 list of best quality of life cities. Thank you.